Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brindy from Cambridge Tech and welcome back. So in this series of videos, we are building a block application. Now we've done most of the setup and we are getting into the nitty gritty of some of the functionalities. So I just realized something and I'll quickly want to fix some few things before you move on to the main objective of this project, which actually has to do with um, building a profile page. So what I realized is, and I'm just going to start off my server so I'll do python manage.py run server. So when I'm running my server, obviously I can do a control and click on this link over here. And this is going to launch the application. Now, what this basically means is immediately I launch onto my application, I'm directed here. And this is not what I want. I want the user to be logged in before the user can have access to anything over here and besides there's some kind of conflicting issues over here because already we have sign up and login over here and we are not supposed to see this so clearly something is wrong so we need to get to this page first before we log in and have access to the application so once again i'm going to close this and let's rectify things over here so first of all let's look at our block app and inside our block app we have views.py so views.py um as far as this particular index view is concerned it is returning this index.html no problem now let's go to the urls.py over here and this is where the issue is coming from not too much of an issue though but as you can see we can clearly see that this is the root url okay so in order to change this, I'm just going to change this and bring out a block over here. And where then becomes our root URL? Because currently we don't have any root URL. So if I'm to do this and go over here, it says that what the page is not found because as far as this root URL is concerned, I've changed it. All right. So let me fix it. And in order to fix it, we just have to come into our user app. And inside our urls.py over here, we would rather want to have this login as our root URL. So once again, when I save this and now we click on this run into the application, this is what we are going to see. So we first of all need to log in and let me log in as admin. And once again, I'll type in my password. And remember, we have this link showing up over here. Immediately, I log in as admin. You can see that we see this change to profile and logout and also we have the prescribers over here now what i want now is to work on this profile page okay so whenever we click on this we are going to see the profile page we can add in our own photo and move on from there now in order to do that and once again this was just by the way so let me just close these ones and come in here and in order to work with the profile page, the profile is also going to be um, inside the user or the user's app. So I'm going to go into views.py over here and I'm going to create a view for our profile. So I'm going to call this or I'm going to define a function and I'm going to call this profile. Our profile is going to take in a request and for now let's return render and I'll pass in a request over here and the next parameter over here is the name of the template and the template is going to be in the users folder and we are going to have this as profile.html all right so i'll save this and what we need to do now is to come into our template folder and go into users and i'll go and create profile.html all right and finally, let's also go and create a URL for this. So I'll come in here. And as far as this URL goes, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to copy this. Okay. This sign up. So I'm just going to do a shift alt and a down arrow key to duplicate it. And I'll just change the route over here to profile. And also the function over here so i'm going to do views dot profile 
and the url name is also going to be users dash profile so i have this showing up over here so finally i can go into my um, nav dot html inside partials and since i have the profile built out i can now have access to this so i'm going to do a url and i'll do users dash profile because that's the name of the url i specified all right so currently everything is going to work but we haven't put out anything over there so when i click on this we have four slash profile showing up over here so let's build the templates so in order to do so um once again let me open things up over here i'm going to go into um let's say login dot html and i'll grab this so i'll do a control c this is just for the starter templates i'll save this over here and i actually don't need this form and i also yes i also don't need this form as well okay and i would also want to change the name of the title over here so when i save this and come back over here and click on profile we have this profile page set up for us now i'd want to uh, center this in the middle so what i can do is i'm going to do md6 and an offset of three so that i have the card somewhere in the middle but this is what i want so as far as this profile page goes i want to have the profile image over here and the information i need to display showing up so inside this card body i'm going to have a row and i'm going to have a call md4 and this is where the image is going to appear we are going to work with images very soon so i'm just leaving this over here and for the alternative name i'm going to say profile img for image then i'll come down here and specify call md8 so call md8 is going to be the other side of uh, the column where i'm going to have the information showing up over here so over here i'm going to have let's say the name so i'm going to put this in an h4 tag and i'm going to say name and let me hard code this and say ken and let me put this one over here as email and for the email i'll do kbrony123 at gmail.com all right so when i have this and come back to come and refresh clearly you see that we have a working document over here all right so what i need here is i need to put out um, the title over here and a button which we can click and edit our profile so i'm going to come just above the rule over here and i'm going to put this in a span tag and over here i'm going to say edit uh, no i'm going to say profile page so profile page is going to be here and i'm also going to have a span tag over here and this span tag i have a link and i'll say edit profile later i'm going to change this link into a button but i just want you to see exactly what's going to happen then i have some bootstrap classes over here so i'll do btn btn dash info and i'll do btn dash sm to have the small button then i think i'll need a horizontal rule over here so if i should save this and refresh now you have this over here i want this a little bit big and this floated to the right so that's going to be very simple i just have to add a bootstrap class of h4 over here then over here too i'm just going to float and i'll do float right all right so after saving this when i refresh all right this is just about what i want now what i want over here too is um i need to use a modal so that whenever i click on it the modal will appear and i can do the changes i needed to do 
So I'm going to go into Bootstrap and I'll do. Um, I'll go to getbootstrap.com. Remember, we are using version 4.6, so I'll get version 4.6 over here, and I'm going to search for Moodle. So I want Moodle, and there's this particular one. Um, I think the live Moodle. So whenever I click on this, then it drops like this. This is what we are going to use. So I'll copy this. Now you are going to paste it and do some modifications in here. So we'll come just, I mean, at the very till end, okay, just before the end block. And I'm going to paste this over here. And if I'm just to leave it this way, and if you have to come back here and come and refresh, you're going to see the modal button over here. And when you click on it, we get this, okay. So we are going to replace this, or we are going to put this over here and do the modification thereafter. So for the button, I'm just going to copy this or better still, I'm going to cut this and I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to put this here, control V. So when I save it, for it to be reformatted, what I need here is I have to change the name to edit profile edit profile then i need info over here and i need btn dash sm for a small i don't have to change the data toggle from model to anything and um, i also leave this as example model this actually being referenced in here so i don't have to change anything over there but then if i change it i also need to go and change it down there all right, so this is what I need, and I'm just going to cut this. Um, yes, I'm going to cut this and going to put it over here inside the span tag. So inside of this, and let me just put out the button over here showing up this way, and let me just put out the comments on top of this. All right, so I think this will work just fine okay so i need to float it to the right i think i left that one out and yeah so i'll do a float dash right good so if i refresh yes we are back to what we have but this time around when we click on this we have this model showing up over here good so let me change some of the things we have over here so for the model title i'll say edit profile oh yeah edit profile information then i would have to change this to like the save changes i'm going to work on this later on but i'll change this to cancel and yeah so this is it and the information is going to pop up over here so this cancel this save um yeah let me change this to save or confirm and cancel but then let me do btn dash sm over here and btn dash sm here as well all right so we are done with the i mean the lookup okay i mean the interface what we need to do is actually to pick up the data from here itself all right so as far as the logic goes we are going to go into our models.py and we are going to create um, a profile model over here so i'm going to have a class and i'm going to call this profile model and this is going to inherit from models.model and this is how it's going to work. So every user is going to have a profile, okay? So there's going to be a relationship to the user and the profile. And in order to work our way around it, let's import, so from django.contrib dot auth dot models. I want to import the user model because we want to have a relationship with the user. And now let's have 
the user over here and i'm going to say models dots and this is going to be a one-to-one -one field so a user is going to be associated to one profile unless the user have multiple accounts which is also going to result in multiple users having that different profile you are not going to have one user having two or three profiles okay so what do you want to link it we want to link it to the user model and we have to specify on delete as models.cascade so that whenever a user is deleted automatically the profile also gets deleted as well and more importantly what we need over here or what you want to do over here is to add a profile image so we are going to specify an image over here and this is going to be models.image field and for image field we need to specify some few things over here so we are going to give it a default image and we are going to call this default dot uh, png and we are going to also give it um, an upload an upload to over here so this is actually going to be actually going to be a folder for which we want to have our profile images in and we are going to create that file i mean it is automatically going to be created for us um, as far as we are working with this so we are going to see how some of these things pan out very soon what then do we need to do so clearly let's just um, have a strange representation of our profile over here so i'm going to say solve and we are going to return solve dot user and if i'm just to do user over here it's not going to work quite yet okay it's not going to work quite yet because within the user we want to specify the username so we are going to do self dot user dot username and that's how we get the name itself so we are almost through over here all right so there's one last thing i would want to do and i'm going to explain as we move along now that has to do with the images or the files that we'll be uploading want to import a validator over here or you want to use a validator so that we are only going to accept um, images okay other than that if we are to leave it this way somebody can upload a video and it's going to um, the system is going to accept it and it's going to create some problems for us so in order to put in a validator over here we are going to import so we are going to say from django dot core dot um, validators we want to import the file extension validator so this is the validator that we need file extension validator all right so in order to apply the validator um, the file extension validator on the images over here all that we need to do is to come in here and um, say validators okay so validators is going to be a list of what you want to validate and we are going to call the file extension validator over here and inside of this you can see allowed extension so the allowed extensions is going to be a list and what you want to accept as images is going to have the extensions of uh, png and also the extension of jpg these are the only files we would want to accept in our system all right so i think we are good to go and yeah we don't seem to have any problem so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to migrate this model so i'm going to create in a new terminal and i'm going to type in python manage.py make migrations so i run this make migrations and as you can see um we don't seem to have any problem so i'll do python manage.py and now i'll migrate the model over here all right so we are good to go so now let's go into our system and over here let's go into our admin panel so inside the admin panel we have this showing up over here but i don't have um our profile model showing up over here and that's because we haven't registered it yet so let's go to admin.py inside our users app and run the import to bring it over here so 
I want to save from the current models. I want to import profile or the profile model as I specified. So I'm going to do admin dot site dot register and I want to register the profile model like this. So when I save and come back here to come and refresh, now we have the profile model showing up over here. Now when I click on this and come in here, you can see that the user, as far as the user goes, these are the registered users we have in our application. And let me show you. So these are the registered users. We have admin, Ronnie, John, and Kenneth. And each of them can be assigned to a profile. Okay, so first of all, let's start with admin. Now admin over here, and we are asked to choose an image over here. So I'll click on this, and I'll quickly go into desktop, and I think I have an images folder right so this is it so now as you can see i have some images i can choose over here all right so when i click on um, linda click on open there's a jpg file so clearly i can save this and now we can see that admin has this image over here but it's not going to work IT yet because of some issues we need to sort out. So clearly, if I click on this, we can see that um, it says page not found. Okay, so using the URL conf define postscribers dot URL, Django tried these URL patterns. So the images are being rendered as URLs one way or the other. That's the way Django works. So all that we need to do is to go into the um, Django documentation and so over here, I'm going to go into the Django documentation and I'm going to check for how to save image files. And I'm going to leave this link in the description below. So there are basically some few things we need to check out over here. Now, when we come down here, we have the seven files uploaded by user during development. And we need to specify some few things over here. So first of all, we are going to look at the media routes and the media URL. But first off, let's copy this and we are going to go into our project urls okay when i say our project url this is our project postscribers and our project urls is what we have over here and i am going to paste this over here and i'll come back here we are going to work with this later but clearly what do we have here we have media url so we need to specify two things over here and that's media url and media roots so let's go back into settings.py and when we come down here we need to specify media url and media root so let's do media underscore url and media url is going to be like what we have over here so as you can see we have static url and that's static so we need to specify a media url and for the purposes of what you'll be doing, we are just going to do media or we are going to name it media actually. So we have this media URL showing up over here and we have media roots. So let's do media roots. And media roots is actually going to be a path to which we are going to link up to our project over here so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to call the base directory over here and we want to link this up to media all right so this is what we need to do as far as media routes and media urls are concerned oh, okay 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 so what happens is it has automatically reformatted okay that's the django extension i'm using okay so we have settings and static being imported over here all right so all that we need to do is um we are actually going to do this so we are going to say if if settings dot debug okay if settings dot debug then all that we need to do over here is to 
do a plus equal to all right over here like this okay so after reformatting this this is what we have now this is going to look out for the media urls and the media routes in our application okay or in our project and as far as this one goes we've already imported the static over here and we've imported settings over here as well so we are seeing that if you are in debug mode then we are doing url patterns we are actually adding it up to this url patterns over here so we are doing settings dot media url and media url is what you are specifying over here this is a media url and we also want to see the document root as settings dot media root and media root is what we also have over here and um let's just proceed now the last thing we need to do is to run python manage.py and we are going to do collect statics now pay attention to what's about to happen over here because we are going to have some folders being showing up over here so when i do collect static and before we do collect static let me first of all come back here and delete and yeah let's delete this profile we are trying to create over here so that you don't have any problems moving forward all right so let's run this and we are going to see an asset folder showing up over here it says i do mean collect statics okay so what did we type collect statics and it says python manage.py did you mean collect static okay so it's collect static and not statics all right so i run this and it says um there will be an overwrite of the files okay so i'll say yes and it says you are using static files up without setting the static roots all right so it says we should specify a static root, and that brings to mind a mistake i did over here so let's do static underscore roots all right so static roots is now going to um almost be like this so i'll just copy this and i'll paste this over here now this is going to be asset and i'm changing this to media for the media url so we have media over here and the static root is the assets okay sorry about that so let's run python money.py collect static again and if i run this hopefully you don't have any problems over here because the static or the asset folder has been created and if we come in here we are going to see everything now later on when we add our own custom css we are going to see how some of these things will come in handy for us all right so we are good to go and this time around if i am to come here and say add profile admin and if i'm to choose an image and choose this image over here and save if i'm to come here and come in here you don't seem to have any problem over here okay unlike we had before so we have this profile image showing up over here good so now let's come back into our postscribers um our users and let's go into our template actually into our users and go into profile and try and render the data over here okay so for name we want to do and in order to render data we use a double curly brackets we've seen this over a number of times so i'm going to say user dot username for the name so when i save this remember we had ken over here but now when i refresh we are having admin over here because admin is actual or admin is the actual user and we are going to do same for the email address as well so i can come in here and do this and i'm going to say user dot email all right and we are definitely going to see the email address of admin over here so now we have to get 
the image over here and in order to get the image clearly the image is going to be here all right so the image too is data so we need this double curly bracket and you are going to say user dot profile dot the image okay and you're going to do dot url so this dot url is actually going to route that image and display it for us now this image i think may look too big okay it's not showing up over here let's see what we are getting wrong all right so this is what we have for the profile image now when we come back here and come and refresh we are not getting the image but um let me choose another image over here and if i'm to save this and come back here we have this image showing up over here all right so we have this image showing up over here but then and once again it's supposed to show here to okay so let's try and inspect this and see what's happening so inside our body let's go into the the container itself okay so the image source it says unknown all right so let me check this ones out and let's come here so let's go into models okay so the name over here was profile model all right so i think that was where the issue was coming from so let's do profile model so users dot profile model dot image dot url and if i'm to come here to come and refresh now the image is showing up over here and um inside this container we are definitely going to see the image over here so as you can see we have this image showing up over here all right but clearly the image is too big okay so let's resize it a little bit and let's just use a bootstrap class over here so we are going to add an img img thumbnail bootstrap class over here so that we can resize this image to this okay so this is good for our profile image and if i'm to come here we see this image over here now the next thing i want to do is to use django signals to create a profile immediately we have a user registered and before we even do that let me also do this all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to go into my folder okay so these are the images i'm using over here now i have this avatar image i would want to use as the default image remember we specified over here in our models and let me show you quickly in our user models that as far as profile is concerned we want to have a default image and we are using default dot png i think it is jpeg for this picture so jpg all right and we are going to upload in profiles and um essentially we need to put it in the media folder okay because we have um profile showing up over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into my files and grab this image so i'll do a control c and inside my desktop i think i have this subscribers over here so i'll open this up and go into media and i'll dump this over here all right so we have this showing up over here as default.jpg okay so now let me show you this if i'm to come back to the back end over here and let's say create another profile and for instance for bruni and save as it is over here when i come here and i click on this you can see that bruni will tick on the default profile page all right so this is good for a start now the next thing i'd want to do is 
Um, let me clear off John and Kenneth over here because they don't have profiles and we are going to create them over again. All right, so we have just two users in our system that's admin and Bruni, and both of them have profiles. So Bruni has a profile, admin has a profile. Now let's create. Um, and now we are going to use Django signal. So over here inside my users app folder, I'm going to create in a file. I'm going to call the signals signals.py. Then let me close the extra things I have over here. So let me open up signals.py. So this is what signals.py is going to do for us. Now the logic here is whenever a user is registered onto the system, automatically a profile needs to be created. And we don't have to go into the backend to be doing that. We are going to use signals to do that. And we are going to use one we refer to as the post save signal. So now let's run some imports over here. And we are going to say from django.contrib dots auth dots models i want to import the user model because we'll be working with the user model then i'm also going to say from the current models i want to import and i want to import the profile model because we are also going to work with the profile model then i'm also going to from django dot db dot models dot signals I want to import the post save signal and finally from django dot dispatch I want to import receiver and these are the four imports I need in order to create my post save signal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify or oh, the receiver is going to come in here as a decorator and i'll just do the add symbol and have receiver over here and it says i need to specify the signal and potentially some quacks over here so the signal is going to be the post save signal and i'm going to specify a sender over here so this is going to be the user is going to send that kind of trigger in order for the profile to be created and i'm going to have a function over here so i'm going to call this create profile and create profile is going to take in the sender the instance for which we want to create that profile then finally we are going to have the axe and the keyword arguments or the quacks all right so this is good and now we simply have to say if created so if um if created then we want to do profile which in this case is a profile model dot objects dot create and the user is going to be equal to the instance all right and i think we also have to pass in instance or created over here so created needs to be passed in over here all right so basically this is going to help us create that kind of um, action and let's go into the apps.py we just have to specify that we are going to use a signal over here so, so i'm going to define a function and this function we are going to call it ready so ready is going to take in self and um, we are just going to import the signal over here so i'm going to say import users.signals all right so this is going to make it work so now let's come back here i mean log out 
and try and sign up a new user over here. So let's do um, a name like Linda. And there's going to be Linda's email address. So linda.gmail.com. And there's going to be Linda's password. I'm going to type in the password again. And when I sign up, we get directed over here. All right, so there are some few things I need to work on as far as this whole logic is concerned. And let me go to login and let's come in here for Linda and type in Linda's password. So when I log in, Linda is logged in. And when I come to profile, you can see that automatically a profile has been created for Linda. Let me log out and come in here, re-log in as admin. And you can see that we didn't have to come and create in a profile for Linda. Linda's profile was automatically created. Immediately we created or Linda got registered onto the system. Now you realize that after um, creating the, let me log out once again. Okay, so create an account. So after creating an account, you are supposed to be redirected or under normal circumstances, you are supposed to be redirected onto the login page. Okay, and we have to come and change some of the routes over here in order to in order for it to make sense and let's go into the sign up view so once you sign up over here okay we want to return a redirect into the login page and the login page is now going to be users dash login all right so this is what i mean now Let's refresh and sign up a new user. So let's sign up Bob. And this is going to be Bob's email address, bob at gmail.com. And let me type in a password for Bob. So once Bob signs in, he is redirected onto the login page. Now Bob can now log in. And bob is able to log in now all right so this is good and once bob comes in here he has his username showing up over his email address and clearly he's using the default avatar image now this is where we want to click here and perhaps edit the image because maybe bob has an image he wants to use all right so this is going to be the end of this video in the next video we are definitely going to see how we perform the edit function and things of that sort now if you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambro tech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambro tech we say learn programming you can do it bye bye